She is infamous for cheating to win the Boston Marathon in 1980. And after a period of speculation, we have learned that Rosie Ruiz has died. WBZ's Christina Hager has a look now at the questions surrounding both her life and her death. Infamous Boston Marathon cheater, Rosie Ruiz. Rosie Ruiz leading the women's pack. As mysterious in her death as she was in Boston. An obituary with a photo that looked like her but with a different last name yanked from a Florida funeral home's website had people guessing before concluding she died of cancer last month. I, I could take a polygraph test, but I don't think that it would measure. Uh, anything concrete. This WBZ interview days after Ruiz allegedly snuck into the end of the race claiming the Boston Marathon title in 1980. Is it possible, Rosie, that you even doubt now that whether you ran the race or not? No, there's no doubt in my mind. I know what I did and, 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 and I will prove it again in the future. Bob LaBelle remembers that interview as one of the most bizarre moments of his career. Sure, I wish she would have owned up to it and freed herself from from all the controversy but no nope, she wasn't going to do it she's a troubled soul bill rogers no won the men's race back, that year back. when rosie came in she had a shirt like this you know right to here you wouldn't wear a shirt you you'd be up like this your arms your shoulders so you can perspire and cool down it was so hot that day yeah and she wasn't sweating and he wasn't the only one who noticed television race announcer tony revis hey she didn't look like a runner. B, she was wearing a very heavy top that was not covered in sweat. And I don't know why she thought she could beat it, but then she ended up spending the rest of her life running away from it. Never able to escape the unfortunate legacy she left in Boston. Christina Hager, WBZ News. It is just wild. Yeah, it was an infamous chapter, and the fact that she, she never admitted that she cheated. Right to the last day. Yeah, she, she never admitted that she did. got on the train, went to the end, and got off. And it's amazing. The experienced runners knew almost right away something was wrong. Yes. In the marathon documentary, Bill Rogers, you get to see his expression, and it is one of complete <laughs> bewilderment.